welcome Finland to Lieka on the Adriatic coast, close to the Slovenian border we are. It's game day six of Group C for the World Cup qualifiers here in Europe, and this has so much riding on it for the home country. Quite simply, a win will mean they will progress to the next stage of the World Cup qualifiers by the skin of their teeth. We'll go through that in a moment. There's the current table. Finland can join Slovenia on a four and on a sorry a five and one record and go and win the group. But if Croatia win, they will tie with Sweden. And because of that one point double over sorry six point double overtime win that Croatia had over Sweden, which gave them the head-to-head -head by a single point, Croatia will finish third. And I'm sure the Swedes have had so many nightmares about that double overtime game. But what it does, it gives Croatia a lifeline, a lifetime line to the second round of the World Cup qualifiers. A country that had a silver medal in the Olympic Games. A perennial qualifier for finals. Didn't qualify for China in 2019 and are on the verge of going out in the first round of this 2023 World Cup. For the country that believes it belongs at the top table of world basketball, that is a very, very tough pill to swallow. And they have to take care of business at home over a team that could win the group and a team that probably more as meant as much as any other team in world basketball plays for each other, believes in each other, and the word team sums them up. Finland are one of the biggest overachievers in so many ways in world basketball. Croatia, possibly some of the biggest underachievers at the moment, have to beat them. Let's just think about that. We'll come back and talk about it a lot more after the two national anthems starting with the national anthem of Finland. Big contingent of Finnish fans enjoyed that. Now the national anthem of Croatia.
So players exchange the memento of the game. The World Cup is here. That's what it's all about. And the third team on the floor, the three officials that will take charge of this evening's game. You know, Yilmaz, Martin, Hozrov, and Fernando Kalislava from Turkey, Bulgaria, and Spain. Three of the best across Europe. This tier, their teamwork, as I always say, as important as the teams. Let's go back to the point, though. This Croatian national team could miss out on the second World Cup running. That would mean that uh, Mohan Bogdanovic, one of the highlights of European basketball, won't make a World Cup. A country that's medaled, a country that's been famed for its production, the country that gave us Tony Kukoc and Glazan Petrovic, amongst many others, may not make the World Cup second round qualifiers. It's a huge thing in uh, Croatia as a presentation is made to Bogdan Bogdanovic. And he, as much as anybody, and in some ways more than others, is feeling the pressure. Stri straightforward, just need to win. The points difference, the head-to-head -head with them and Sweden. If you remember back to the second competition window, double overtime, and somehow Croatia got the win. Here's the starters, Sashu Salim and uh, you know, Max Huni are in the backcourt. Larry Markkinen up front with uh, Elias Volton and Jan Tunen. And it's, they're strong, they have experience coming off the bench in spade loads. In Koponen and Huff have been around for so long for Lassie. Tuvi served his time as the assistant coach to Henrik Deppmann. Has done a marvellous job in Strasbourg and is now fully the man running the Finnish men's national team. Starting lineup for Croatia, Filipovic and uh, Perkatsian, Zonja, Zubak and Bogdanovic. Size, scoring ability, two NBA current players. What could possibly go wrong for Croatia? Well, what went wrong in the last game is they got absolutely taken apart with a 33-8 first period by um, by Slovenia, 97-69, that one finished. So all Croatia do, having Sweden lost to Slovenia earlier on this afternoon, is win. All Finland have to do to top the group, because don't forget, the results carry forward. So if they lose to Croatia, Croatia go through, Finland will carry that loss into the second round. And that's not going to do their qualification for the absolute pinnacle of the World Game, the World Cup, any use at all. So this one's going to go all the way down to the wire. Tight, compact arena. 3,000 seats. Milomerovic, one of the most pressurized jobs in European basketball, head coach of the Croatian national team. Somehow, he's got to get his team over the line and into the second round. And then, with a competition window in August, you'd expect everybody here today to be available to play. The Tiso countdown to the tip-off. One minute to go before these two teams will face off. And this one has... It's a win or go home for Croatia. If you like your basketball with pressure and intensity, you're in the right place. Ivka Zubac on the inside. Still only 25. The 2 meters 16. 14 in the game against uh, Slovakia. Mario Hazonia had uh, had 22. Plus Bogdanovic had 13. The only three people to get into double digits against a revitalized Slovenia with Luka Doncic and Zlagic in the lineup. 
But that was for last week. It doesn't matter what's happened before. All that matters is the team in red get the win. So wherever you're joining us from, you're absolutely in the right place. We're on the Adriatic coast and Croatia in the red and Finland in the white and Croatia get their first look at the half court. Bogdanovic off the glass with the left hand, draws contact, will go to the free throw line. Gentunen picks up. Gentunen picks up the first foul. Mohan Bogdanovic on the free throw line. Now 33. And even at 33, and after years in the NBA, the pressure on this game, everybody's feeling it. Goes 0 for 2 from the line. Well, the open three, if you're not going to guard, going to take. Bogdanovich comes down with a defensive rebound. And Finland go the other way. Sashu Salin. It's almost like Sashu Salin has grown up in front of, it's right before your eyes in terms of European basketball. The pull up and the two is no good. Lasagna doesn't get anything to go. But Zubac clears up the mess and gets the two. Max Hooney gets Finland into the half court. Markinen gets it off. Salin, when Salin is open, with his feet set, he may as well put it in the book. One of the very real stars of Finnish sport, star of European basketball. Lasagna will skip it. Bogdanovic puts it on the floor, tries to create an angle, a little bit of footwork by uh, Mark Hennon. Just straight off the screen, cuts to the ball. Whistle on the plate. And I think Sashu Salim believes that Bogdanovic just stopped and to an extent suckered him into that one. It's warm in the gym. Beautiful Croatian weather outside. Right on the Adriatic coast. Third biggest city. Biggest port in Croatia. The open three off the down screen is short. Akinen comes down with a defensive rebound, gives it up. Voltanen gets to the keyway and kicks. The long three is good. Markinen just knocked it down. Feet set, no one guarding him. The skip pass. Penetration. Pekacin is uh, unsuccessful. And Croatia a little static. Behind the back, off the glass for two. Pretty basketball. Jantunen with the two. Whistle on the plate. Traveling court. And this is just Croatia as they have looked across these qualifiers. Tentative. Their backs were firmly against the wall when they came back to get the win over Sweden. Had to come up with a 51 point second half to actually take it to overtime. Oh, a foul away from the ball. In fact, Zonia has been called for the technical after the travelling call. Arkham can't complete the misery.
They've just got to forget the pressure and the history because otherwise they'll be expecting to get this win and just play the game and pick up the win. Off the glass. No good. Bogdanovic comes down with a rebound and pushes. Takes it strong to the glass. Is blocked. In transition. Three on two. They can't get the three to go. And that's a job on the glass. That's a tremendous effort by uh, Pekacin. Filipovic needs a pass. Finds one. Bogdanovic looks inside. No pass. Turns it down. Got to give the big man some a touch. Three is off from uh, Prokacin. Marking it. Wow. Croatia are going to take the timeout. Lowry Malkinen gets the three, his second three of the game already, and they lead this 11 2. You can't think of many situations where Sweden will be cheering on Finland. This is one of them. Well, you got to hope that Croatian timeout just settles them down. You've got to hope that uh, Zubac gets touches. Bogdanovic open for three is off. Marketing can't secure, but the team does. Maxuni into the half court. If you don't guard this Finnish team, they will put it up. You will have the chances to go the other way, but you have to get numbers. Azania takes a tough one in the lane, and you have to ask why. Matuni in the half court. Sashu Salim moves it on. Feet set. Three is good. Madsden. He squares up, gets balanced, knocks down the three. As on you going the other way, he has to take a tough fadeaway jump shot in transition. It's a better option. The catching goes to the hoop, gets the two. Marking in again is long. And that will go back to Croatia. It's so tough. You need continuity in national team basketball. It's so tough when teams you know, get together just a matter of days before games to get that continuity. And one of the things that makes it easier is that just trust and belief in each other that this Finnish team have. They'll share the basketball. They'll give up screens. They'll set screens for each other. That makes life easier. There's no personal agenda with that Finnish team. It's great to watch. Emrik Dempman set the whole thing up in many ways. And that's the 2 of Just carrying that on was part of the culture. And they just keep rolling. 
hit the second side, looking inside. Filipovic, nowhere to go. Four on the clock. Bogdanovic in the lane, the extra pass, wide open three, so much better. Shared the ball, everybody touches it. Perkovic gets the three from the corner. They had nothing easy, so they worked to get something they wanted. And Pitt, Sashu Salin is off, offensive rebound. And that's the other thing, when you work hard, good things happen. Great work on the glass. Sepla gets the, th the rebound. Now he has it. Marklin steps back, leans back. He's short on the three, another offensive rebound. Almost looks like there's six finished players on the floor at the moment. Foul on the dribble by uh, Pekacin. Then it'll be on the baseline, foul on the floor. Oh, great read. Super read by uh, Palmi. Defense switch. He can just bump back to the ball. Wide open. Great execution. Finland have the nine-point advantage. Filipovic tries to get to the middle. Does. Needs a pass. Creates nothing. Bogdanovic is fouled with the runner. They're going to wipe it off. Third team foul for Finland. Bohaj Bogdanovic on the free throw line. One for four in this opening quarter. 3.40 to go. And Finland with the eight-point advantage. <laughs> Pietri Karponen, the veteran. Markland can't get it to go. Defensive mess is cleared up by Bakacin. Croatia in transition. Bogdanovic, feet set for three from deep, is off. Defensive rebound pulled in by Madsen. Wide open. Koponen with all day and all night to let go of the three on tran in transition. Koponen rolls back the ears. It's 34 now. Back home playing with the Seagulls in Helsinki. That's the team, not the birds. Great little pick and pop action. Perkovic knocks down the three. Excellent effort defensively. Croatia turning it up when they need to. Bogdanovic is fouled and one. No better way to spark yourselves than with defense. Come up with a stop, turning into transition baskets. There's the pump. Solid finish. The veteran, Sean Huff. 38 now, Sean Huff. 13 years or so with this Finnish national team. Huff extends the floor, hits the second side. Seppler. 
Copeland steps back for the tough three. Doesn't get it to go. Great work on the glass by Madsen. Markkinen with a foul line jumper is good. In fact, it wasn't Markkinen. It's uh, Palmi again. Last minute and a half of quarter one. Copenhagen. Inside touch. Madsen warrants the touch. Done a great job on the glass. He's going to spin baseline. Takes the baseline jump shot. They get a piece of it. Breggett Bender came over and really challenged it. Bogdanovich, watch out. Oh, what a block. But one of them fouled him. Bogdanovich took it strong. We'll have to go to the free throw line to earn it. Finland in the penalty. Straight down the gut. Madsen just about hangs on. Huffs on the glass. Comes up with the offensive rebound. And we'll get a 14-second reset. Copenhagen is long with a three. New 14, just over, or just under 50 to go. Got a whistle on the plate. Very considerate. Or considering mopping the floor now. It's going to have to come back. Fouled that assessment. 21 to 16. Croatia recovered from that lightning start that Finland had. Just a five point game now with 48 seconds remaining. Started at the defensive end, they've got stops. It's a couple of little couple with his feet set. Can't get it to go. Huffs on the glass. Can't pull it in. They look long. Copeland tried to get back. Perkovic leaked out. Great find by Bogdanovic. They just tangled up after the attempt by Copeland to intercept. Should be a two shot foul because of the penalty. I don't really, I, I, well, I'm not going to comment. We're going to look to see if there was, uh, if he had a genuine attempt and then he fouled after.
actually Copeland's eye line is looking at the basketball the whole way through. So he was obviously aware there was someone down the floor, but he wasn't actually looking to take that player out. That's a decisive factor in uh, what happened for me. They're going to call it unsportsmanlike. He came very close to intercepting the pass. That's the other thing. Second one is good. The 14 second reset means that uh, Finland will get this one back with a lot of time on the clock. Bogdanovic with a quick release is no good. And there's around a six second differential between game and possession. Kopanen into the half court. Half, puts it on the floor, has to take the tough one from deep. Wide open to end the quarter. Perkovic can't get it to drop, and we've reached the end of the first period. And Croatia did well to recover from a very nervous start. 21 to 17, Finland have it by four on the road here in the beautiful Adriatic coast. Statistically, 25% from three, 33% uh, by three for Finland. Finland just not finishing plays. Let's take a look at the best plays of the first quarter. Well, our start of game time, Finland really fed on the nervousness. If that's what it was that Croatia was on. Not a lot of defense being played by the guys in red. Mark then made that free. Big time lead to start the game. But after that, Croatia started to share the basketball and have worked their way back into this gradually. If you want all the information about the World Cup qualifiers, download the app, the Courtside 1891 app, stats, features, highlights, everything you'd ever want to know is on that app. Great start to that first quarter by Finland. Shot the ball well, ran the ball well. Croatia looked a little nervous, understandably so. So much riding on it for them. But Finland have been here before. This group have played a lot of national team basketball together. And they'll start with possession at the beginning of quarter two with a four-point advantage. Uh, Mauro Little will get Finland into the half court.
Salim set the screen and popped. And uh, that early part of the game rhythm has disappeared from Finland at the moment. Filipovic. Taking a lot of time to get into what they want to run. Down the lane and kicks. But the defense stays at home, one pass away, doesn't step off. Filipovic just about stays in there. He's going to take a tough one. Doesn't get it to drop. Finland chance to run the other way. Nice pass. Easy two for Huff. Got to stop the ball early. Foul line jumper is short. Just about hung on to it. I think there's going to be fouls on the glass at the offensive end. Huff crashing the balls from distance. Nice move to the baseline is good. Zubac just backed his man down. Went to the baseline, solid with the left hand. The step back for the three to answer is way off. It's Finland, if anybody looked like they have the standing still issues on offense. Croatia, a little bit more tempo to what they're running. Zubac again in the post, inside out. Wide open three, turn that down. Zubac underneath is fouled. And he's becoming a huge factor, the clipper. Jan Tunen checks back in. Just about getting in. He's on yet. Ball gets stuck again, goes baseline. Azonia's on the free throw line chance to make this a two-point game. Valtunen picks up another personal. It's on you now. In Russia, well, was in Russia with Yunus Kazan. Who knows where he'll be now? Myro Little gets Finland into the half court. If nothing else, Croatia have slowed them down. That's the biggest thing they've done. Huff will come off the screen. Markton trying to get open underneath. No option. Salin is fouled on the three. Great work on the glass. They didn't have to take the quick one, but why wait? Valtunen gets the two.
quick hands, knocked out of uh, Subach's hands. Finish, what a finish by Miro Little over everybody. Filipovic in the half, sorry, not Filipovic in the half court. Rogic is in the half court. Zubac gets the little hook. Zubac, just such a... Once he gets deep, he's just too big, too strong. You're not going to take it away from him. Knocking it away with a quick hands is your only option. Markham wants it deep. Doesn't get a touch, but the help side clears out. Super move to the far side of the ring. Voltunen again picks up points, maintains the six-point advantage with just over 6.20 to go. Voltunen with four points has made the last four points for the team. Opening the corner for three is no good. Whistle on the play. Markland looks like he's going to get charged with a personal. Bogdanovich checks back in, gets the first touch, puts it on the floor, look, no baseline, gets no angle, falls in fact. Maybe fills the expectations he has to do, great pass. That's how you lead the break. That's big impact coming in back into the game for Elias Baltuna and six points personal, all in a hurry. And Croatia will take the time out. The work undone to get back in the game on the back of Voltunen, who really has been impressive. Let's see if we can take a listen. So Coach Tuovi will be the much happier coach. When he gets his rhythm, his team really do commit. They share the ball really well. The ball doesn't stick. Croatia into the half court. Rogic, looking at options, deep in the clock now, he's seven on the clock, it's, it's almost get deep in the clock, nice pass. Uh, he whistled on the play, a little bit of football. Get to eight seconds if they haven't got anything, he's just throwing it to Bogdanovic and asking him to almost bow them out. That's not the best way to get you know, contributioning from him on the floor. And it's not the best way the team should function. Jump hook, 
is no good. It's a battle on the glass. Batch will set the screen now. Gets deep, needs a touch. They're going to have to take the long three. That's no good. Defensive rebound is just fought for by uh, Com Homer. There's a whistle all over the back. Marketing picks up the draws the foul again when he runs when he rim runs when he gets to the front of the ring he's tough to guard gets really deep and Finland will have it on the baseline you can see how hot it is in here and it's not going to get any cooler for the next 25 minutes a oh, nice roll back to the basketball Surely there's a scout somewhere that has Croatia's name on it that says this is what Finland are going to do out of bounds. That's two easy looks out of bounds. Eight-point lead for Finland. Under five to go in two. Filipovic with Rogic in the backcourt. They've turned it over again. They go long. And they're going to count that as basket interference. In the half court now, they'll kick it back. Off the hand with the off the glass with the left hand is no good. Chance to run the other way. Numbers down the floor. They go upstairs. Zubat. Oh, throw that one down. When he gets it that deep, if you're going to go up, he's going to go down. You're going to throw you down with the ball. Sashu Salin, who Hasn't had a clean look from the perimeter for a while. Markinen has, and his long defensive rebound falls into the hands of Filipovic, who advances the basketball. Puts it on the floor, attacks it. And a nice pass. Zubets is fat, is blocked. Wow. And that'll be a technical foul. Wouldn't mind seeing it again. Everyone at that end of the floor is convinced there was a foul. Wow, it's um, relatively clean. I would just get confirmation whether it was bench or coach. But the pressure is for everyone to see. Tashu Salin makes the, the free throw. Sepler into the half court. Pauni, Salin on the roll. Madsen just recovers. That turnover. Three on two break. They don't need the three because Azonia is going to make the layup. That'll cut it to a nine point game. Timeout for Finland. They need it, but they're still turning the ball over far too often for their liking.
rebound numbers pretty tight as you'd expect them to be. Both teams shooting approximately the similar type of percentages. So 3.10 to go in quarter two. Don't forget the pressure. Croatia are under here. They have to win. Don't win, they don't progress. That throws them into all sorts of pre-qualifying scenarios that Croatia are not supposed to have to play in. Here come Finland. Finland want to get the win. They want to take all their results forward. Salin just about saved but then not recovered Croatia into the half court, Filipovic. So I think they'd be fine, Croatia, if they just executed here. They'd get options. Subac in the lane, nice pass, super cut. Sepler, feet in concrete, didn't move. Filipovic did, great vision. Stalin has it knocked away, another turnover. And they almost turned it straight back over as Markinen almost got a piece of it. Pietri Kopanen in the game. Defensive pressure is uh, it's always good from Finland. Always trying to work you, take you out of what you want to run. Madsen will check out. Sean Huff checks back in. Filipovic assessing options. Game has a real disjointed feel of it. It's not as if both teams are in rhythm. There's not a lot of fast break basketball as such. People are having to try and work this one out. Three throw is no good for Zubac. That makes a second six point game. Croatia still managing the margin.
Oh, what a block. Oh, what a block. Zubac is just becoming a huge factor in the game right now. Lasagna lighting it up. And we get a four-point game. And it's taken them the whole of the half, but I think we have a game now. Marklin, deep, deep, deep three is good. Just when you thought they were drying up Finland, their main man steps up and knocks down a three. Bogdanovic stops in the lane, doesn't get it to go. Marklin's coming down with a rebound. Zubac picks up the personal. Just over a minute to go. Seven point game. Halfway through a crucial game for, well, for both teams, but definitely for Croatia. Kopanen looks to the inside. They go high. The high low's not on. They defense sucks in, so the three is wide open. They can't knock it down. Huff can't get it to drop. Well, Damanic will advance the basketball. Down the lane. Tough move, but blows the layup. Five on four if they run the other way. Just have to find the open man who's right there. Throw that one down. Got the all clear from flight control and took off. Nine point game and Finland reasserting going into the half. Simply have to score on this, this trip. On the lane, drops it off. Way to stay with the play. Dragan Bender. Followed the, followed the cup, followed the ball. Finland will take a timeout with 11.6 seconds remaining in the half. Looking to close out this first half with a score. They have been dominant from minute one. Now they want to finish the half with momentum. Seven point game, 11.6 seconds remaining in the first half. The Croatian backs are firmly against the wall. 11 seconds to get the length of the floor. A foul on the play. Croatia do have two fouls to give, so. They've used the other one now. Let's take a look. Yeah. Well, for what it's worth, and as I'm not the re referee, it's not worth anything. If Koponen's foul is an unsportsmanlike foul, so is that. Because the interpretation of the Koponen one would be that they had no chance getting the ball. Therefore, Unsportsmanlike, no, no difference for me. 
That's why we don't ask referees to commentate and why commentators aren't referees, perhaps. It's just the consistency of thought process that uh, interests me on this one. They know Croatia have two fouls to give. They've given one. That's not an attempt at the ball. Well, let's just see what the officials come back with. I'm sure there are people who can explain that one to me. But anyway, no fouls. Still got one foul to give. And expect them to use it. They go long this time. Oh, nice move. Gets the two. Super finish. And that'll do it for the first half. The first half that Finland started so, so well. And Croatia, tentative, yes. And we've reached the half. And Finland have re-established that lead. And they currently lead it at the half here in Croatia. Croatia are 34, Finland 43. A nine-point advantage for Finland. Don't forget, Croatia win or they stay home. Let's take a look at the stats. Which are here. 42% for two, only 18% from three. One of the great all-time shooters is out there on the floor for Croatia and Bogdan Bogdanovic, and they're shooting under 20% from three. That won't stay the same in the second half, so there's no need to panic. But they really do have to get their act together, if nothing else, on defense. Markinen has 13 points, leads all scorers. Zubac with, eight, uh, with nine has done really well. But it's set up here for a Croatian comeback. Let's see if they can do it. Let's take a look at the best plays of that first half. Well, it was one-way traffic when they got their feet set. It was real easy to get their feet set. Marketing genuine NBA distance knocks down two threes in that quarter in that half And they share the ball really well but Down the other end once Croatia started to move the ball they started to make shots they got right back in this Before Finland would just stretch it before the halftime break They've got to find a way, Croatia, in this second half to find ways to get Mohan Bogdanovic open looks. That's not going to be easy because Finland key, keying their defense to stop him getting catches. Well, that might mean Hazogny is going to have to get to work. Whatever it means, the one thing is consistent is Zubac needs touches. Otherwise, when everyone else is packing their bags and going to the qualifiers in the next window, they won't. They'll be somewhere else. And when everyone gets on the plane to go to the Philippines, they won't be there either. It's a big half of basketball for Croatia.
Well, it really was a half that had everything. It set it up nicely. We'll be back shortly after the best plays from the qualifiers in Europe for the second half. We'll see you then. Don't go anywhere. Will Croatia get there? Let's wait and see. Who will you become when the moment arrives and you're carrying the expectations of an entire nation, representing your people and their dreams, the colorful faces in the streets, the screaming fans in the stands? It's time to make your move. All eyes on you, all hope, all heart. Because when you win, you win for all. Maradona now coming up one screen. Out. Oh, baby! Throws it down in Coyabla. Well, Maladon with no regard. Drive to the basket, switch onto the right hand, and the score. Determined offense from a man determined to make his mark on his first appearance in these qualifiers, Tomasz Sataransky. Really, Kobo now quick to attack the basket. Kobo finds Mejate! Oh my goodness gracious, give this man some credit. Well, under the basket and puts Montenegro on a post up. Well, Yito Koch now getting a handoff. Passes one back to Kai Van der to freeze now going all the way to flu. Gets rejected. Well, Vanessa just pinned him off the backboard. Ovelichka, oh, nice pass to the big man who throws it down. Now oh, here we see it. Look at this. Beautiful pass and the reception. Fadden to Shingalia. The crossover drives inside and flashes it with the one hand. You wonder how much of that was just pure frustration from Shingalia that his team really aren't operating at the level they usually do. But France just can't buy a bucket. Oh, what a pass. Oh, baby. That is unbelievable. Illich. But they got to go back to the pass on that one. I mean, look at this. That is Ole moment. Alexa Illich. The pass up to Edwards. But that's a bit still quickly. Isaac. Oh, he gets rejected. Wow. Let me tell you something, Mr. De Young, with the rejection, what De Young said, you're not worthy, get out of here. That poor performance from the free throw line that has truly cost Georgia today. Oh, and there's the poster, there's the flex, Kachenko just throws the hammer down. What a big play, great vision, McFadden caught sleeping. Well, a top scorer, not surprisingly for Finland. Larry Markkinen, inside and out. Genuine NBA three-point range. Knows exactly his role on this team. He is a scorer, yes, but uh, also the facilitator. Has that three-point range and really uses it. Three from five from three, two from three from two. The big man. 
Zubac. Kreish trying to build their performance from the inside out. And he is holding him at the moment. The perimeter game is just struggling for Croatia. Nine points personal for Zubac. Both teams back out on the floor. Won't be too long before the second half is underway. Uh, you can feel the tension in the arena. Everyone knows what's, ri what's riding on this. This is not what Croatian basketball is used to experiencing. It's a tough group. Let's not uh, make two bones about the group. The group's very, very difficult. Slovenia are the European champions and have, a, shall we say, possibly the best player on the planet at the moment on their team. Finland, as we've said, super team. And at this stage of any year, Markland's on the lineup. And they are also really special as a team. Sweden just played their heart out. And they are, I think they have some real quality players. But it's not a group that in the past Croatia would have looked at and gone, anything but we're going to get through this group. Now they've got 20 minutes to recover the situation and qualify for the second round. There's plenty of people that could step up here. Bogdanovic really struggled to get going in that first half. Just couldn't get his perimeter going, game going at all. 
Went one uh, 0 for 2 from 3, one from 6 from 2, so one from 8. And as I said, literally one of the best scorers coming out of the continent of Europe. Just doesn't look like they've looked at how best to get him the basketball. Just a reminder, if you want all the details of the World Cup qualifiers, wherever you are in the world, download the app, the World Cup qualifier app. If it's not there, it's not worth knowing about. Get it on your phone, wherever you need it, you can always have it with you. Here we go then. 20 minutes to decide if Croatia make it to the second round. They'll have first possession at the start of this third quarter. Just to remind you, in the red, and Finland in the white. Reverse the ball and swing the ball, as Anya has it. Three is short. Couldn't keep it alive. Finland in transition. No one stopped the ball off the glass for two is good. No one stopped the ball at all. The great and the good of Croatian basketball in the gym. Just willing their team to find a spark here. Nice pass, nice cut. Super finish. Two batch. Nine point game. Open three from the corner is short. Bogdanovic somehow rebounded from the wrong side of the four. Open. Filipovic for three is short. And you just keep waiting for something to ignite this crowd. Marklin in the block gets it. Comes off the block, hands it off, just opens up the floor. Layup off the first step is no good for uh, Max Huni. Bogdanovic, baseline, needs a pass, finds one. Lipovic penetrates. Bogdanovic in the corner for three. Count it. Warming up. Six point game. Max Huni gets it back. They're going to swing it. Markkinen has it. Just takes the jumper, he's short. Filipovic gets Croatia into the half court. Bogdanovic on the ball reversal, rips it through and goes. Let's take a look. I'm a little bit like Sasu Salin here. I'm not really sure if there was contact. When was it? Because it definitely wasn't in the act of shooting. The replay clearly demonstrates that. What they don't need is Bogdanovic getting another opportunity to get the arm going. Makes the three, goes to the free throw line. Has a chance to make this a four-point game. which he does. Yeah. 
Madsen outside, moves it on. Sashu Salin has it. Salin is fouled on the three-point line. Just uses the screen really well. Creates the separation. Ensures that any recovery and closeout by the defender is it's as long as he can make it. And he is, by reputation and by stat, one of the best free throw shooters in Europe. Makes the first. Almost a turnover. Nitsch puts it inside. Bogdanovic again rips it through. Tries to create an angle. Does a great job squeezing that one off the glass. Maxuni gets it into the half court. Salin flares. Gets a little separation, steps back for roof three, and Gia, sweet as you like, fills it up. Runs that flare screen as well as anybody. Ten points personal for Sashu Sally. Six of those in the last minute. Well, they, well, they finally threw it down there. They're making... Uh, I reckon Subac just hold his space for so long. Out of bounds on the sideline. I catch it. Tony Perkovic checks in. Just towed the sideline. There's the replay of Sashu Salin's three. Salin will hand off. Well, they got the block. They have to put it up. Oh, right at the end of the possession time. And off the deflection of the block, that's how you have to stay with the play. Madsen recovered it and put it up. Instead of it being the opportunity to close it to a three-point game, they're still chasing back to a seven-point game as Zubac gets two more. Sashu Salin off the screen. They step off him and off him. You cannot go under and you cannot zone on that when Sashu Salin's coming off the ball screen. Ohms it out to a double-digit lead, and Croatia's defense has got to change on Salin coming off the ball screen. Let's take a listen to the timeout.
10 point game, five and a half to go in the third. Little 2-2-1 trap. Croatia deal with it, but it does take a lot of time out of the possession. Catching. Gets it off to Bogdanovic. Stepping through in the lane. Nice pass. And Pekacin just flushes it hard. Sean Huff. Locking in for three is way off. Chance to run here. Numbers down the floor. Bogdanovic, feet set, is off for the three. And somehow, Finland corral it in. Outnumbered on the glass, but they find a way to get it. Oh, they chase him again and zone him again. They dodge the bullet that time. Straight down the middle, needs a pass, finds a pass. Wide open in the corner, he's good for three. Super decision and execution on the end of the break. Mark and it'll sit, 4.18 to go in the third. Kopenen and Seppler in the back court. Seppler lifts. Nice pass. Oh, what a block. Oh, Zubac said no. Oh, and down the other way. They throw it on the down on the break. The block to the jam. Perkovic finishes the play. The gym comes to life. Zubac has carried them offensively for the whole game. Comes up with the block. And then Perkovic gets up and throws it down. Three-point game. Croatia as close as they've been in a long, long time. Let's take a listen. Oh, everybody's orchestrating everybody else now. Three-point game. Finland have the basketball. Sepler beats the pressure. Kolpen, who would have been there and seen it all before. Sepler off the ball screen. Little pick, short roll, wide open. Kolpen in the corner for three. It's short. And Bogdanovic, largely anonymous for the first half. It's just huge at the moment. Upstairs, far, asking far too much of Zubac. Not really the pass to Zubac. Not 
Not that I think that's an unsportsmanlike foul, but it's absolutely that and the co-opponent unsportsmanlike foul again. Similar circumstance. But I think the co-opponent one was wrong. Co-opponent drops it inside. A whistle away from the ball. Croatia now in the lane. It's almost like five Croatians are fouling or have really been aggressive. It's difficult for the officiate to uh, monitor everything. Sideline possession, 14 second reset. They blow the back door cup. Ball's in the hands of Nidic will come off the ball screen. Zubac will roll. Penetration down the lane. For Pekacin. Offensive foul called. Take a look at this. Watch out. Gentlemen will be in all the wrong pitches after that. Super, super move by Prakachin. One point game. The, the graphic is incorrect. Grocer at 56. They're going to call that offensive too. Markinen's back in. They need his one, his ability to his influence. Come Homer outside as well, number 13. They line up the three. Is in and out for Murrow Little. Didn't let it flow, just had a look, stopped, then got ready to be square, then shot the ball. Bogdanovic inside, outside, blows past, and Croatia have the lead. What answers does Finland have? Co opponent. third quarter that all of a sudden has become dominated Sashu Salin's checking back in to Avi has gone back to pretty much his starting lineup for the replay of the Bogdanovic go-ahead score Bogdanovic feeling it in the lane blocking foul Then they're looking a little worried, looking, looking around at the moment, looking for an answer. The answer is in their group. Good rip through. Croatia playing for their World Cup life here. They're in the penalty. Finland are in the penalty. 144 to go. Ditch. Bogdanovic is off. Defensive rebound secured by Little. He'll bring it. So Sashu Salin swings the baseline. Going baseline, needs a pass desperately. Now he hasn't found one. The defensive effort by Croatia is just up at least five notches. And then have to try and weather this storm. Trying to be group winners, don't forget. Trying not to take a loss into the second round. Or more than one loss, that is.
wide open from the three-point line is off. Catching is absolutely everywhere. Shooting the three, getting throwing the dunk, now getting the offensive rebound. Bogdanovich has made that play the last three times. Now they've read it. Wide open. Would have been wide open in the corner, but Mauro Little turns it over. One point game. That's all Croatia need. They just need to win by one. Win by anything. That's all they need. The points difference game was the win over Sweden. Berkovic, Kadin, inside out. Sonja for three is good. The last few times down the floor, it's like shooting in the ocean. They just can't miss. They couldn't score, now they can't miss. Last 10 seconds, so important if Finland could score. Mario Little going nowhere, needs a pass, almost turns it over. Steps back for a tough three, got it! Oh, what a shot by Mario Little. They hadn't scored for two minutes. And Mario Little took it on himself, stepped back, almost turned it over. Nothing but string. And we've reached the end of three. And there's confirmation. Finland after leading the whole game. Trow, 61 to 60. Ten minutes to decide who out of this group joins Finland and Slovenia in the second round. Equation simple. Croatia need the win. By any number of points, just win. Percentage-wise, Croatia have exploded from two points now. 56, Finland doing a nice job. And even though it's five from 19, they've made some big threes lately. Croatia had 15 trips to the free throw line. Finland only five. That's a little bit of an indication of how they played. Let's take a look at the best plays of the third quarter. For the first few minutes, there was no change. Pretty much uh, trading hoops. And then Bogdanovic finally got going. Finally playing ways not just to score from the outside, but get to the ring. But while Sashu Salin, who made back-to-back -back threes, was still knocking them down, Finland looked not in control, not comfortable, but as though they had enough. Kachin, whose story would develop. The story would develop for Croatia as the quarter developed. Play it again. Here we are then, set up. Ten minutes to play. Finland with the basketball. In the half court. Straight down the middle. It's a tough move. Great defensive style. It's got a whistle. I don't know if we have a foul court. I do know we have a whistle. The whistle was late. Let's take a look. Well, there's a foul. Rather a late correct one than a missed one. So they're going to have to make a substitution. Volton, Voltonen looks a little groggy. Madsen steps, oh, Marketing steps onto the floor to take the throws. Why wouldn't you? Misses the first. 
makes the second to tie the game. Now we've got a new ball game. 9.49 to go. We're locked at 61 apiece. Ditch gets it into the half court. Lasagna. Going baseline. Little ball fake. Little hang time for two. Mario Lasagna can score. Make no, be in no doubt. Salin. Turnover. Pass to the inside wasn't controlled by uh, Kimona. That's going to be offensive. That's a great defensive stance. In stance, all the contacts right in the middle of the torso. Little replay of the Hazonia mid-range jumper trademark and the foul Referees are really picking this up offensive foul at the moment. Nah, it's hot in the gym. Croatia now looking to build on the lead. Just about hang on to it. Azonia throws it out. Bogdanovich is going to be charged with the offensive foul. Let's take a look. Second foul for Bogdanovich. Oh, soft off the glass. Super little finish by uh, Max Huni. Ties it at 63. Zonia. Got to force him to that baseline side. Takes the turn around. Sweet. Poor pass. Chance going the other way. Hazonia to the hoop. It's blocked. Oh, my word. What an effort. Salin has it. But not only does the block work, they worked harder to get the loose ball. Wow. Markinen. Getting physical out here. Why wouldn't it get physical? Croatia you want to get to the second round. Now they have the home crowd in it. Bogdanovic has it in the block. Block. Double team comes. Take the lead away. And just strokes it for two. Bogdanovic and Azonia knocking down shots for fun in the fourth quarter. Croatia lead at 67-63. Finland timeout. Got to get the ball out of his hands. Let's take a listen to the timeout.
four point game after the timeout what answers have Finla come up with that'll be Bog that'll be Bogdanovich's uh, third foul Croatia in the penalty already. 6.51 to go in the game. How big a factor will that be? If the referees carry, and carry on calling it this tight, could be a big factor. Sashu Salin gets it back to Max Huni, who stops and pops. his way short. Markkinen's been no factor since this run of Croatia inside or outside offensively or defensively just has not been a factor foul called let's see what uh, coach Tuovi is going to come up with to try and get this Croatian team out of the rhythm they're in Hazonia catch release is long and Sashu Salin who does a lot more than just shoot the ball, comes down with a defensive rebound. Arkanen off the glass for two, just when you need him to. Tough move. Kred, no angles, just somehow made it. Six to go, two-point game. Zubac trying to hit the second side. They're all over the passing lane. To Batch. Ball's knocked away. Oh, smart. Very, very smart. Gets it back and powers up. But Kachi knew he had to put it up to hit the ring and did. And then just hoped or believed that Zubatch would get the rebound. So he had to put it up, make sure he hits the ring. Zubatch doesn't let him down. And returns the compliment. And the man was serious. Hops. Hops. Four point game. Loads of time. Five. Just over 5.30 to go. Jantunen moves it on. Sashu Salin steps back. Long two is no good. Defensive rebound again. Finds itself to for catching. It's almost like a stat magnet at the moment. Markkinen almost steals it. Kachin has it outside. Baseline penetration is going to be out of bounds. Is on you. Croatia will retain it. Seven seconds on the possession. Finland trying to win the group. Croatia is trying to stay alive in the competition. They turn it over deep on the clock. Four on three break here. Salin off. Offensive rebound is into the hands of Jan Tunen. Markinen has it. Surely Markinen wants to take Zubac on the dribble. Salin stepped out of bounds, I believe. Filipovic really has to have a game now. It was big in the overtime win over Sweden.
down the stretch in particular. Filipovic has it, lines up the three, is short. Defensive rebound finds themselves in Markinen's hands. Finland trying to play with that ribbon, reaching foul, and that'll be the first time that uh, Finland will go to the free throw line since Croatia get, got into the penalty. The Antunin will shoot two. Chance to make this a two-point game. They found they found something from somewhere. Croatia. The intensity level has picked up. Their ball movement is quicker. And Tuna makes the first. You wouldn't have thought, or I didn't think, I'd ever be saying that these this Finnish team has uh, more experience in these situations to the Croatian team, but it does. It's been in qualification battles. It's been in medal games. Four oh six two point game. Croatia on the end line. Bogdanovic comes off to the high screen and they have to go long. Suck it into it, I think is the phrase. Seppler. Makes the ball. <laughs> Biggest lead for a while. Baseline opens up. Need of a pass. Finds one. The tough three is off. And Azonia comes down with a defensive rebound. It's almost at that stage. Time and possession could become crucial. That's going to be offensive. They're going to call it a block. Both teams in the penalty. Zubac will have to go to the line. Plenty of time for the still to go either way. Metzen checks in. Zubac on the free throw line. Ten foot and half an inch, but the half an inch is all that matters. One for two, two possession game, 3.20 to go. They're going to give a technical foul. 
Three and eleven to go for the flop. Let's take a look. Not totally convinced. The last contact right in the torso. I don't think it was a foul either way, but um, Sashu Salin makes. Could be a four point trip. Croatia have to do play defense, make Finland work for shots, get good options down the other end, and they're in a position to win the game. They do not need to send Finland to the free throw line. Nedic, the uh, 21 year old from uh, Shedavita Olympia, has done so well in this second half so well when he's been given the responsibility of the ball Same teams to, the team appears to function with a better rhythm with him today anyway than with uh, Filipovic so Madsen on the free throw line to make this a single possession game three point game makes the first Gets the roll to make the second. So we're at a single possession game. Three, pretty much three minutes to go. Hazonia will advance the basketball. No one wants this to become a free throw competition. Bogdanovic has it. Somehow they managed to get that up. As it goes up off the glass, and one. Scrap is the best description Zubac won't care somehow they managed to scramble that one up Pekacim's on the floor for, to recover that and Markkinen's going to get the foul he wasn't straight up and he's just been out physical at the moment chance to make it a six point game which he does Maro Little, it's Finland into the half court. Goes all the way up. Sashu Salin's movement was exceptional. Three is well off. Markkinen for three is off. Finland a little three-point happy, should we say. Just over two to go. Time and possession crucial for Croatia now. Lasagna. Nice slip. Zubac. And Zubac cleans up the mess. Goes up with a hook for two. He has been just phenomenal. Nineteen points personal. Oh, they're never out. They're never down and out. Seppler steps in and makes the three. Caption slow again, 78-73, five-point margin. Hezonia moves it on, gets it back. Has to take the really deep three, is way off. Five-point game. Markkinen can't get it to drop and there's been zero factor in this second half Bogdanovic 
who sparked this Croatian run. Now they're trying time and possession. Finland don't need to foul right now. There's plenty of time left. Five on the shot clock. Travel. They're going to call a blocking foul on Jan Tunen. Let's take a look. First one scrapes the front of the ring. I think that's called pressure. Make this one, it's still a two possession game. It'll be a six point game with 53 seconds to go against a team that shoots the three as well as anybody. But they've got to get good looks. Over two, that's a rebound and a foul. So the worst outcome. for Croatia as if you didn't need to know Elias Faltunen on the free throw line to make this a single possession game a stop and a score after this if, she, if he makes both and we're all tied up Croatia could be in overtime again. Makes the first. Two for two from the line. Croatia will take the timeout. 52 seconds left in the game. They lead by three, they have possession. Well, didn't need to do it. Referees made a call. Let's take a look. No. After letting the two fouls go earlier on, I cannot see how they can make this an unsportsmanlike foul.
one thing I always believe in, uh, in in the officiating in Europe in particular, it's always or, or almost always consistent with interpretation. It doesn't matter about the scenario as such or the, the, the hardness all the time. Was there an attempt to play the ball here now? No. Therefore, yeah, unsportsmanlike foul. Was there an attempt on the two previous ones? No. Therefore, they should have been unsportsmanlike fouls too. And those two unsportsmanlike fouls in a game this close are going to have a huge impact. So, uh, it's going to stay as unsportsmanlike. That should be an unsportsmanlike foul. And I think... Uh, Copona, maybe, maybe not, but you've caught it. The two situations with Croatia, exactly, in my opinion, exactly the same interpretation. And in a three-point game, that's big. Bogdanovic misses the first, needs one to make it a two-possession game, and they get the ball back. Four-point margin. 44 seconds away from the second round, Croatia. Get the ball in. Get the ball in. Cro Finland have to score twice. Make or miss, they still have to score twice. Bogdanovic with 10 seconds on the possession. Puts it on the floor. Attacks it. Fumbles it. Takes the tough one. Doesn't get it. What an offensive rebound, but it doesn't go. Game's not dead yet now. Wide open for three. It's good. Oh, 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 oh. Max Hooney with the big triple. They, they, they don't have to shoot it. They've got to get after it. There's the foul. It's 79-77 at the moment. 78, rather, at the moment. Here it is. 13.1 seconds to go. If he makes both, they still have a shot to tie it. Croatia scraped past Sweden with a point more in the points difference. Have a one-point lead over Finland with 13 seconds to go. It's still a one-point lead. Still a one-point lead. Lovro, Lindic on the free throw line with 13.1 seconds remaining. Oh, what an offensive! No, no, there's no way. Jungle has gone over the three point line. He'd gone too quickly from outside the three point line. Fenden will take the timeout. They'll advance the basketball. They have 12 seconds to eliminate Croatia from the World Cup. Let's take a listen. You see, his onion's already gone. Referee got it. There's people in Sweden who have never pulled so hard for Finland ever as they're going to pull for them for the next 12 seconds. Here you go. Good move by uh, to Ovi to put the veteran component in the game to inbound the ball. He's been here millions of times before. Is Sashu selling the answer or is Markin in the answer? Well, there's your answer on that one. 
Markinen inside out. Cole Poland, Markinen for the game. Got it! Lara Markinen gets the three. Breaks the heart of the gym, but there's still 4.3 seconds to go. Do we still have a twist? Put a vet in the game and he'll make a vet decision. Copeland gets it in, kicks it back to him, he penetrates. They leave Markinen on his own for some reason. And Copeland just makes the simple pass to the best option on the floor to win the game. Where did Croatia go? Do they go inside straight away to the big man? To Zubac. Does Hazonu, who's had a tremendous second half, get a look? Or do you go to Bogdanovic? Whatever the decision is, everybody's got to be on the same page. Filipovic will inbound the basketball. Hazonu's coming through. Bogdanovic. Gets his feet set, puts it up for the win. It's no good. And Finland get the win. Oh, there's a whistle. And the foul is on uh, Zubac. I think. Wow. There is no time left. The call comes down to, I have no idea. The stats are the wrong way around, I think, on my uh, feed. Here's Bogdanovich, puts it up. You know, they may call Markin in here. I don't know who hooked two's arm first, and I assume that's the call. I, I have a, I, I, there may be a call here on marketing. Without hearing the official, who knows? I thought he called 20, uh, 40. There's a holding foul on one of them. Who knows, except for the official who's looking at it. Zubac has had a game. He's had a ridiculously good game. He may well have kept his country's hope alive here. Hearing the officials would be so useful right now. We can't see from this angle. The referee's on the baseline. He's got a great view. He's made a call. I just can't tell you who he's made the call on. According to the, the stats machine, he's made the call on Finland. Because he's given a, the, the way they've read it, is that Zubac gets his hands on it, therefore it becomes an offensive rebound. He has made that call.
Ifshad Zubac is on the free throw line to take the game to overtime. Make the first. Treat them like you treat every other free throw. You know, Raju would have made them. This group, overtime with Sweden, trying to go to overtime with Finland. It's their only way to stay alive. There's point, I think point zero point one or point zero one. There is no time. If he doesn't make them, game done. If he misses the first, I don't think he's got time to miss the second and hope for a tip in. He is going to remember that for a long time. He's had the game of his life. He literally has had the game of his life and he's not going to remember it. Now he's got to miss this and just somehow hope that someone tips it because as soon as it hits the ring, it's game over. And Finland win in Croatia. It's not about Croatia losing today. It's the other performances in the group that have put them in this position. And you've got to feel for Ivska Zubs. Zubac. He literally has had a game of his life. 21 points, 8 rebounds, 2 assists, 2 steals, 3 blocks. And he will just remember a miss free three throw. Coach Duovi with the move to put Cole Poland in the game. Class, absolute phenomenal decision. Pana makes the decision inbounds, but then makes the decision to penetrate and kick. And Markkinen just knocks down the three. Here it is, confirmation. Finland with an 81 to 79 road win here in Croatia. The traveling fans are loving it. The fallout for Croatia, which is going to have to wait and see. But they put in a really solid performance in the second half. Stats-wise, only 23% from the three-point line didn't help. More worryingly for them, 55% from the three-throw line. Literally cost them their World Cup spot. Finland topped the group. Markkinen had 19, Sasu Salin with 16. Bogdanovic 21, Zubac 21, and Azonia with 13. The guys that were supposed to show up showed up. Coaches get all sorts of criticism. To Obi, just a solid decision to put the veteran in to make the decisions down the end of the game. Markkinen loved the three. Super performance by Finland. The team, which is literally what they are. They'll go on to the second round in a very strong position. They won't have to play Slovenia with a Doncic in August, that's for sure, because all those games are already in the book. Let's get a look at the best plays of the second half. Uh, Zubash just, regardless of the fact that Bogdanovic got going in the second half, that Azonia stepped up in the second half, that uh, the catching was just phenomenal for a section of that game. Zubac kept Croatia alive when nothing was going their way. He was just absolutely phenomenal in this game. Sometimes sport is ridiculously unfair. He gave himself the chance even when his team had nothing left, nothing left, the missed shot. He still came up with the offensive rebound.
here's the play of the game for me. Down the middle, with some interest. Hazanya got going in the second half. He's got that soft touch. And Finland struggled, but they found ways just to tick the scoreboard over enough. Mark only made, I think, only made two field goals in the second half. He went to the line as well. That running layup and the three for the go-ahead. Seppler's three was as important when they were down by three possessions. Came up with just a phenomenal three. And then again, Zubac on the glass. Just phenomenal. The veteran draws the help, kicks to the open man, Markkinen does the rest. That's a phenomenal win. And there's the group. Croatia miss out on the second round of the World Cup after Slovenia beat Sweden, but they lost to Finland. Been a, been a night here in Croatia. What a tremendous performance. Hope you've enjoyed that one. We'll see you soon for more World Cup action.